This is the 12 lead ECG of a patient with hypotension and palpitations. Pause this recording now and interpret the ECG on your own before pressing play again to hear me interpret the ECG. The rate is 180 beats per minute. The complexes are broad and this is therefore a broad complex tachycardia. This should immediately make you think of ventricular tachycardia, which is a medical emergency, and help should be sought from a medical expert at this point. The axis is widely left axis deviated, with a completely positive complex in lead 1, and a completely negative complex in lead 2. There are no obvious P waves present, and therefore it's impossible to comment on the P waves themselves or the PR interval. Since the QRS complex is broad, it's impossible to comment on the presence or absence of pathological Q waves, or to comment meaningfully on the ST segments or T wave morphology. In summary, this is a broad complex tachycardia which should be thought to be ventricular tachycardia until proven otherwise. Ventricular tachycardia is a medical emergency, and when accompanied by hypotension, should be treated with DC cardioversion. It's possible that medical cardioversion could be achieved with drugs, for example amiodarone, whilst waiting for the equipment for DC cardioversion to be put in place. Differentiating the broad complex tachycardia caused by ventricular tachycardia from that caused by supraventricular tachycardia with a broad complex rhythm is difficult. There are multiple findings which are predictive of this, but none of them are absolute. One finding which is very predictive, however, of this being ventricular tachycardia is the fact that the QRS complexes are downwards pointing across all of the chest leads. This finding is known as concordance. Ventricular tachycardia is often taught in the context of the single lead appearance in a shockable arrest rhythm. The clinical status of the patient is not able to tell you that the patient does not have ventricular tachycardia. So to reiterate for the final time, broad complex tachycardia should be thought of as ventricular tachycardia until good evidence is found otherwise. Seek help from someone who can help you to make this decision.